Even before Vlatko Andonovsky officially stepped down from the position of head coach of the United States women's national team, discussions about who will succeed him were already in full swing. Despite differing opinions, there is unanimous agreement, the next leader of the USWNT will face a challenging task in preparing the team for the upcoming Summer Olympics. And while the position of USWNT coach is undoubtedly the crown jewel in women's soccer, it carries immense expectations. So, who will be the one possessing the necessary skills and experience to lead the USWNT in its next phase? We've brought together five candidates who are most favored by fans and could be on the radar for the hiring process. Welcome to our Usant News channel. It's a pleasure to have you here, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on everything happening with the US women's national team. Let's get started. 1. Luis Cortez. The former FC Barcelona Femini coach, Cortez, is being considered as a potential replacement for Andonovsky in the USWNT. Currently coaching the Ukrainian women's national team, Cortez will leave his position at the end of August when his contract expires. He was in talks with NWSL clubs and was also contacted by US Soccer, as reported by The Athletic. During his tenure at Barcelona, Cortez led the team to the UEFA Women's Champions League title in the 2020-21 season, having also been a runner-up in 2018-19 and won the Copa de la Reina twice. 2. Tony Gustafsson. The Australian coach, who has a long history as an assistant coach in the United States, emerges as a natural choice for the USWNT. His contribution as a key member of the coaching staff includes designing set-piece plays that led to goals by Carly Lloyd in the 2015 World Cup final. The only gap in his profile was the lack of experience as a head coach. However, since 2019, he took over the leadership of the Australian national team, guiding the Matildas to their first-ever World Cup semi-final and finishing in fourth place. 3. Laura Harvey Harvey is the lone NWSL manager on this list because the USWNT needs a coach with quality international experience. The head coach of OL Reign has that experience, and with the USWNT. She worked as a head coach at development levels and also as an assistant coach for the senior team from 2020 to 2021. She also has experience as a youth assistant in the England national team system. In short, Harvey checks most, if not all, the boxes. A three-time NWSL Coach of the Year, she also won six trophies while coaching at Arsenal. Since her time as the head coach of the USU20 national team, she is familiar with many of the younger players who are rising through the ranks and will be tasked with taking over the USWNT and continuing its legacy. While she has mentioned that her current priority remains with OL Reign, she hasn't ruled out the possibility of a return to the USWNT. Are you watching this news and still haven't hit that like button? Go ahead and click it, so YouTube will always recommend you the latest Dusset news. 4. Lorn Donaldson. Donaldson might be a sleeper choice for the head coach of the USWNT, but he would make a lot of sense. His connection with Sophia Smith, Jalen Howell, and Mallory Swanson, all of whom he helped develop at the youth level, is intriguing, and his success with Jamaica despite limited resources is noteworthy. A major drawback against Donaldson is his limited experience, having only coached at the club's development level and now with the Jamaican national team. But he deserves consideration, especially after leading Jamaica to their first knockout stage in the 2023 World Cup. 5. Emma Hayes Emma Hayes, renowned for her success with Chelsea in the Women's Super League and previously discussed as a potential coach for the England national team, is well-versed in the US playing style. She has coached at the university level and for the Chicago Red Stars from 2008 to 2010. Since 2012, she has transformed Chelsea into a prominent program in the WSL. Recently, Hayes signed the USWNT star midfielder Katerina Macario and promising talent Mia Fischel. She also has extensive coaching experience with the Australian star Sam Kerr, suggesting a potential influence on the team's players. However, it remains uncertain if she wants to lead the progress she has built at Chelsea. Now I want to hear from you, Usant fans. Did we miss any coach on this list that you would really love to see leading the US women's national team? Drop your comment here, as your opinion is very important. I'll be back with more news anytime soon, 